Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we're going to be taking a look today at the situation around Tony D'Angelo. This is my third time making this video and thank God I didn't post the ones that I had the other day because we've gotten more information and we've got some stuff going on. So we're going to be looking at that now. If you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, more videos like this, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. Let's take a look at the New York Rangers. So it seems like the Tony D'Angelo trial in New York is over. As the New York Rangers defenseman, Tony D'Angelo has officially cleared waivers. Yesterday, the New York Rangers put him on waivers, and as of noon today, Tony D'Angelo has cleared waivers, which means no team took a waiver on him, and decided to take him or his horrible contract. So that's what we've seen with D'Angelo. This is likely the end of his road in the NHL. And, you know, there's so much to uncover that we've been finding out. I was a little bit more on Tony D'Angelo's side yesterday, but now that I'm hearing about some of the stuff he's been supposedly doing, uh, I'm just not as big of a fan of D'Angelo right now. So... Where this thing started was, all of a sudden, Sunday morning, we get this weird notification. I honestly thought it was a joke that Tony D'Angelo was placed on waivers by the New York Rangers. Now, if you were watching the Rangers games, which I, I haven't been watching them that much, but you could tell they haven't been that great to start this season. So there's more to the story, right? So now we hear all of a sudden that on Saturday night, after the Penguins came back once again and beat the New York Rangers as Tony D'Angelo had a miscommunication with goaltender Alex Georgiev when Georgiev pulled the puck up the boards. One of the Penguins intercepted it and Sidney Crosby ended up getting the game-winning goal in overtime. It was a miscommunication between D'Angelo and uh, Alex Georgiev, the goaltender. So now they're starting to get off the ice. Tony D'Angelo has been frustrated over the this whole part of the first season, there was actually footage of him slamming the the penalty box door, scream, you know, barking off at the refs uh, during the first couple games of the year. He only has one point in seven games right now for the Rangers. He was scratched uh, earlier last week, and now this situation happens. He has the miscommunication after the Crosby goal. Now they're going into the locker room, and there's a fight between Georgiev and D'Angelo. As they go down the tunnel back into the locker room. Now, supposedly, things got even more heated as there are rumors out there that Chris Kreider actually punched Tony D'Angelo in the face. Now, again, this is all speculation. We do know there was an altercation in the tunnel between Georgiev and D'Angelo, though. There was actually video on Twitter, but of course, it was pulled down immediately. But there's something to that. Obviously, there's a reason that video was pulled down. Maybe it was showing some footage of the two going at each other in the tunnel on the way to the locker room. And something may have happened with Kreider in the locker room. Because if you look in the post-game interviews, Chris Kreider was especially pissed off. And he wasn't the guy that was on the ice for the mistake. So you knew it had to be something else. And now we're getting the details. And it seems like it could make sense that Chris Kreider may have just freaking punched Tony D'Angelo in the face. Now, we've also been hearing some stuff outside uh, of the locker. You know, we've been hearing that when Keandre Miller got his first NHL goal, Tony D'Angelo took the puck and kept it a little bit longer than he should have. He ended up giving him the puck eventually, but there's some weird things to underlie here because Tony D'Angelo, uh, I guess, had the puck and usually when these guys score their first NHL goal, they took take the picture with them in their first their first puck, right? Keandre Miller did not get that on the New York Rangers social media. So now it brings up the question, well, why Keandre Miller didn't have a puck, right? So that makes sense. Alexi Lafreniere did his rookie, you know, his first NHL goal picture. Why didn't Keandre Miller? Again, because there may be something more to it that Tony D'Angelo may have had that puck. So there's just little stupid things going on. Supposedly this Georgiev and D'Angelo thing has gone back all the way to when they were in Hartford together playing with the Hartford Wolfpack of the American Hockey League. So obviously there's been a disconnect between those two since the very beginning. Now we also remember that the Tampa Bay Lightning drafted Tony D'Angelo later in the first round. 
back a couple years ago from the OHL. He's one of the OHL's best defensemen of the year that year in his rookie, uh, in his uh, his draft year. And there was a lot of excitement around D'Angelo. He could put up the points. He had the skill. He had the raw talent. But at the end of the day, he had some issues barking off at officials, you know, actually getting into verbal altercations with the officials, even physical altercations, some locker room issues that he's had, and there's those questions are hard to escape. Once those demons are there, it's very hard. And you got to realize, too, the gap between Tony D'Angelo or any of these guys and any other guy that's trying to make the NHL is so small. So now you add a personality flaw or something that could be more of an issue in the locker room, that guy immediately becomes an easy guy to get rid of. And you could bring in somebody that maybe isn't as skilled as that guy, but you're willing to sacrifice the points to have a cohesive locker room. And the volatility of a locker room, it just it gets become it becomes a lot more of an issue with a guy like Tony D'Angelo. You look at the Coyotes, they took a chance on Tony D'Angelo after it didn't work out with Tampa. Now there's been talk that why didn't Steve Eisman pick up you know, you know, why didn't the Red Wings pick up uh, Tony D'Angelo? Because Steve Eisman traded him away to Arizona back in the day. So he wasn't going to be taking this guy back. And let alone, he's got guys like Moritz Cedar coming up. He doesn't need a guy like Tony D'Angelo at this point. So there's something to be said about, you know, putting things aside to win Stanley Cups. And the Rangers have done that for Tony D'Angelo. I'm not even talking about the burner accounts on Twitter where he's, you know, pretty much talking trash about his own teammates and again it's not that it's true but the fact that it's even out there is a little bit concerning and then you also throw in the fact that he's had some issues you know to start this season he's not even putting up points he's had the whole social media thing with twitter parlor that whole situation which i think is a little bit separate uh to be honest but whatever quote cancel coach or whatever at the end of the day this is he's been a problem i hate to say it uh, normally, I give guys the benefit of the doubt with their personality, with their beliefs, but I hate to say it, it doesn't even sound like that at this point. Uh, there's just other things going on. And I think if it was just that stuff like it's been, the Rangers were fine with it. It's now this stuff where there's actual physical altercations in the locker room. That's when I think things got a little bit too out of hand. It seems like the Rangers are going to probably buy out Tony D'Angelo's contract. Supposedly they're looking to see if he breached the contract based off of things he said or done, uh, which unless you have that pen to paper, nobody's going to really write that off, but they're going to probably buy him out. And I, I don't know, what is the future of Tony D'Angelo? Honestly, I think it's the KHL. And that's going to be a really sad reality for Tony D'Angelo because he had it really good here in the NHL. But that's sometimes what you need to wake up. So maybe this could be a good thing for Tony D'Angelo. He's still young. He's only 25 years old. Like that's something you got to realize too. Like the kid's 25 years old. I mean, he's not necessarily a kid, but he's still fairly young. And you know, I think you stunt your maturity once you get in the NHL. Once you're making you know buku money, it it kind you know you kind of think a little bit too highly of yourself. And that may have been part of the situation for Tony D'Angelo. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of this situation with Tony D'Angelo? What do you think the future is for Tony D'Angelo? Do you think he gets a spot in the AHL somewhere? Do you think he goes over to the KHL or a Swedish league? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey and want to see the latest news around the NHL, you guys know what to do. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.